Hey Callie, Steven again here at Capstone Volkswagen. Uh, here is the SEL model. And again, this is stock number U24041. And certified 2019 with about 14,000 miles on it. Okay. Cup, you know, so what you're gonna find, none of the cars you'll find are, are gonna be perfect that are 2019s. Um, you know, they're all gonna have this or that. A few little, like this, a very faint little surface scratch right here. And I noticed a couple surface scratches on the hood here. The car's clean though. Both cars are very clean. Yep. What you're going to find really common on these kind of cars, all SUVs, because people love to put stuff in the back, a lot of times they'll drag stuff off the end here and they'll get a little scratches. So this one has, you know, the other one actually had touch-up paint on it. This one, eh, yeah, maybe there's a little touch-up paint right there and there, but there's a little, you know, little surface scratches. And that's just all normal when you're looking at, uh, you know, pre-owned SUV that's a few years old. Um, but yeah, so in terms of some of the differences and features, and so here's the power lift gate that I was telling you about right here. So you can stop that anywhere you want. You can change the, you can change the stopping point, the stopping height as well. The faint little surface scratch right there. That might actually buff out, hard to say. I mean, they have already been detailed and buffed. But sometimes it can work on something a little bit more. Um, it does have keyless access and keyless start stop. There's a little bit of a thingy right there. Um, again, standard power driver's seat. Okay, so this is the digital cockpit I was telling you about. So it's a digital display. And you can see the miles is 14,231. You can hit the view button right here. You can change the views. So that's like the trip computer view and that's the standard view right there and then you can see this one has the factory navigation whereas the SE is not going to have that and then you can basically uh, switch this over to hit the uh, you just hit the map thing right here and then let's see here and now I just switched it over to here so now it's on the digital cockpit and I can hit view even and I can expand it out it's going to take up the whole screen right there So that's only on an SEL. And then I'm gonna go back to the nav and I'm gonna go ahead and flip that back. And now it's back over here. So that's one difference. It actually does not have the lane keep. So I, I checked that out just to make sure. So, you know, mo model years before, or, you know, more newer model years for this model would have had the lane keep. But this one has the blind spot monitor, the rear cross traffic alert, and the front brake assist. I think it's exactly the same as the other one. And then um, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, it's also got the parking sensors, which is not on the SE. So you can see right there. So it does show the camera, but it also shows the zones here, front and back of the car. So if you get too close to something, it's going to beep, and there's going to be little, little bar lines that pop up, letting you know, hey, you're getting close to an object. So that's not on the SE. And then, again, this one does also have the sunroof, which is, again, that's going to be standard on an SEL. I think that's mostly going to be the difference right there. So, and obviously the wheels are, are a different style for the SEL. But, uh, yeah, you can see that from the earlier part of the video. But, uh, yeah, definitely hit me back with any questions. I'm at 949-606-2621. Steven at Capistrano Volkswagen. Thanks again.